Hello everyone, welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to gather everyone there together at home and enjoy some family yoga time. What a great way to start the weekend. Now, isn't it funny or frustrating sometimes when you can't do something right away? Oh, it can be really frustrating, like playing a musical instrument or being able to draw something as you see it right there in front of you. Well, our friend today gets super angry when she can't do something right away. So we're going to help her today learn some very clever mindfulness techniques, which are going to help her stay nice and calm in the moment to stop her having any more problems. Let's go find her now with our yoga adventure. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now, we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts to say our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. Shall we find out who our story is about today? Yes. Let's look through the cosminoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Wow. It's beautiful. What amazing colours. Can you see the picture? What is it? It's a... Baby lioness! It's Lulu, the baby lioness cub! Yay! What's Lulu doing? Oh, she's doing yoga. She's doing flamingo pose. This is so exciting. It means we're off to Tanzania in Africa. Let's get ourselves ready for our long aeroplane journey. First, our necks. We look over one side and then the other over one side and then the other. We nod all the way forwards and all the way up. All the way forwards and all the way up. We tick our head one side and tock it to the other. Tick it and tock it and tick it and tock it and go all the way around like the hands of a clock. And the other way too. Oh, that feels lovely in our necks. Now it's time for our shoulders. We roll our shoulders round and round. We lift them up and put them down. We lift up one, we lift up two. We put down one, we put down two. Going up, up, a down, a down, up. Up, a down, a down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yay, there we go, everyone. Now, I think we need to pack a backpack. So we put our legs out long and we take our fingers to our toes, bending our knees a little bit to open it up. We take our arms out wide. We twist one way to get our tent because we're going to be camping. Mm. Here it goes. Herlonk. Lovely. We take our arms out wide again and we twist the other way and we get our sun cream because it's really, really hot there. We take it and we check the lids on. Lovely. Put it in. Ooh. Lift your arms up high and close your backpack. Ooh. Yeah. Now we give everyone at home a great big hug goodbye. Coming up onto our knees, we stretch out wide and we give them all a cuddle. Bye everybody! Time to catch a plane. We take our arms wide again and drop down onto one hand and wave at the sky. We bring one foot in front of our knee and stretch our back leg out behind us, going knee. And the other side too, coming back to the middle with your knees and your arms all stretched out. We come down onto the other side, wave at the sky and bring our other foot in front of our knee and stretch our back leg out behind us. Ready? And we've arrived in Tanzania. 
Wow, it is hot here. So we put on our sun cream. Reach into your backpack. Ooh, 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 got it. And stand up. Here we go. Blob, 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 blob. Rub it on your legs. All the way down on our legs. And now, more. Blob, 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 blob. Rub it on your arms. Oh, yes, that's it. All over our arms. And our body's ready. Blob, 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 blob. Ooh, all over our bodies, yes. And our faces. Ready? Blob, 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 blob. All over our faces. That's it. Now we've got all our sun cream on. We are ready. But there's a clever thing we can do to cool ourselves down. Can you make your tongue into a straw by curling up the sides like this? Now suck in. And it makes our mouth feel all cold. If we can't do that curly thing with our tongue, we can do a big smile like this. And we can suck in the air through our teeth. Ready? Ah, that's better. That helps us feel all lovely and cool. We get into our Jeep. Sitting down, take your legs out long and pop your seatbelt on. Start the engine. We're going over to one side. We're going over to the other side. We're going down a hill. We're going up a hill. We've arrived at our campsite. Yay! Let's put up our tent. We stand up. And we put up one pole, boop, two poles, boop, three poles, boop, four poles. Yay! Now we check the zip works all the way down the front. Ready? Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
we climb up the tree. Standing up, everyone, here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. We get to the top of the tree and we put one foot on top of the other, our hands together at our hearts, and we grow up tall and we listen for Lulu. Hmm, down at the bottom, Lulu gives her roar a try. Ready? One, two, three. Oh dear, poor Lulu. Back up the tree, everyone. Try with the other foot now on top, your hands together, growing up tall. We listen carefully, but... It's no good. We can't hear her roar. We jump down from the tree. One, two, three. Doing. Lulu's getting really angry. I'm never going to be able to roar. I'm so, so bad at roaring. It's horrible. But Lulu, getting angry at yourself won't help. Let's take some deep breaths to feel better and calmer. <sighs> better. Now you can think clearly again. Let's go see Ernie, the baby elephant at the watering hole. He can really make a big trumpet sound out of his trunk. Maybe he'll help. We stand up and we take our trumpety trunk out and like Ernie we do a big trumpety trump. Ready? Lulu would love to be able to make a sound as big as Ernie's, so she tries. Coming down to your knees again, ready? One, two, three. But it's no good. Lulu gets so angry that Ernie can make a bigger sound than her that she ties his trunk in a knot. Arms out wide, crisscross one under the other, and wave with your underneath arm. Then swizzle your arms round. Ernie's trunk is in a knot. What did you do that for? Poor Ernie. Lulu, you can't do that to Ernie. You need to count to ten and calm down, taking a deep breath. Lulu tries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. <sighs> she unties Ernie's trunk. Standing up, take your arms back into that swizzly position and untie them. Yes! <gasps> oh, thanks for untying my trunk, Lulu. Lulu says sorry for being so mean and taking her anger out on poor Ernie. From the trees jumps little Mindy, the baby chimp. <gasps> overhearing that you're having a problem with your roar. Well, what I do is I do big monkey jumps and I do a big monkey call at the top. I'll show you three times. Ready? <gasps> we love monkey jumps, so we join in with Mindy. Up on your toes, ready to jump and call like a monkey. One, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. And again. One, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Last time. One, two, three. It's Lulu's turn. She's ready to go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. She's still a little bit grumpy, but at least she had fun doing the monkey jumps. All of a sudden, around the corner comes George. The baby giraffe. Standing up, put one foot forward, one foot back, and lift your arms up tall like a giraffe's neck. Now giraffes don't make any sound, nothing at all, and little George has something he needs to tell Lulu. Lulu, you need to warn everyone, the volcano's about to erupt. Oh, no. This is Lulu's moment. She now needs to learn how to roar. <gasps> she takes big giant lion steps up the hill. Standing tall, step forward. Big step. And again. 
big step. Lulu gets herself ready. Coming down to your knees, everyone. After three, she takes a big deep breath. And prepares for the roar of her life. One, two, three. All of the animals hear her for miles around. The flamingos hear her, standing up, reaching tall, seeing if you can hold on to one foot and maybe hopping a bit. Was that a baby lioness? Yes, I think she was roaring about the volcano. Right, come on, off we go. Hoppity, hoppity, hop. <laughs> the other animals that hear her, the snakes slithering around, coming onto our tummies, everyone. Sounds like a baby lioness. She was roaring about a volcano erupting. Come on, snakes, let's slither away. The crocodiles hear her, stretching out long, opening their jaws. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That was, uh, that was baby lioness, right? Yeah, yeah. She was roaring about some, uh, some volcano. Volcanoes erupting. Right, come on, better get moving on. Come on, off, go, go, go. And the camels heard her. Coming back up to two knees, everyone. Put your hands behind your back and press your bottom forward, looking up to the sky, and do a big raspberry to the ceiling. <laughs> well, that's charming of the camels. All of the animals heard little Lulu, including her mummy, her daddy, her brothers and her sisters, who were so proud of their little baby lioness cub. She had done it. She had learnt how to roar. And along the way, she learnt how to cope with getting frustrated and angry, which was really good. But we'd better get out of here. <gasps> Floating down towards us is a hot air balloon. That's how we're going to get home. Yay! We cross our legs and we need to blow it up again so it's nice and full. We bring our hands around our mouth and we blow. <laughs> we start to float, saying our special little floaty rhyme. Tick, tock, like a clock, until I find my centre. <gasps> wow, we've done it. We're floating away. We wave down to Lulu and all of the other animals as they hide and prepare themselves for the volcano. We lie back in our hot air balloon, feeling pleased at how we have helped Lulu today find her roar. But what's more important is we've helped Lulu learn how to deal with it when she gets all frustrated and angry. Being unkind towards herself isn't going to help her. But if she can, in that moment when she's angry, breathe. Breathe slowly and deeply. Count to ten. Maybe take a little walk if she needs to for some fresh air. She will clear her head. Well done, Lulu. Well done for finding your voice. We've all got a voice. And we all need to let it out sometimes. We relax here in our hot air balloon. But then it's time for us to wake up again. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We hug our knees into our chest. And roll over onto our sides to come up to sitting again with our legs crossed and our hands together at our heart 
just like we started. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the adventure and for helping Lulu with her anger. You did so well. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>
back in our mountain pose, feeling strong. This time, bring your hands to your heart. Feel clear in your mind. Feel strong in your body, focused and strong. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You were great. Well done, you. Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Telephone pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and taking our legs out nice and long in front of us. Now, ring, 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 ring. That's the telephone. Let's answer it. Taking hold of one of your feet and holding it up towards your ear. Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can I help you? Oh, hi. How are you? Yes, I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine, oh, good, I'm good. Are you? Oh, oh, well, yes, I'd love to come. That would be amazing. Oh, yes. Bye. Bye. Let's put the phone down. We've been invited to a party. Oh, but I forgot to ask when it is. We'd better ring them back again. Let's take hold of the other phone now and dial the number. Beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. Now, telephone pose is very good for stretching our hamstrings and opening our hips. Oh, hi. Yeah, I forgot to ask, when is the party happening? Oh, tonight. Righty-ho, then. Better get a move on. See you later. Let's put the phone down now. Putting the phone all the way forwards. This is so exciting. Better get my glad rags on. I think I'll wear my sparkly onesie. Telephone pose. All operators are busy at this time. If you'd like to leave a message, press 1. Your call is very important to us. If you'd like to leave a callback number, press 2. Thank you for calling. Bowl pose. Coming to lie down on our tummies. We bring one foot towards our bottom and we reach round to find our ankle. Yes. Then we bring our other foot towards our bottom and we reach round and find that ankle too. Now this pose can be a bit of a struggle, but we can always help ourselves with that struggle by using our breathing and how we think. So I like to imagine that it's my birthday when I'm doing this pose and someone has given me the most beautiful bunch of flowers. Oh, thank you. How nice is that? So we kick into our hands, we start to lift and we breathe in and smile the lovely fresh scent of the flowers. Ah, oh, and we lift up really high. This pose is very good for stretching the whole front of our bodies, our shoulders and chest and for giving us lovely strong muscles in our back. Ah, oh, thank you. That's really nice. Ball pose. <coughs> Dog pose. Coming down onto our hands and our knees. We spread our fingers wide, tuck our toes and press our hips up to the sky. Yes. <gasps> now look. There's a friend. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Now, dogs always like to wag their tails when they're pleased to see you. So let's try that now. We reach up with one of our legs and we give it a wag. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Very good. Lowering it back down. Now, dog pose is very good for strengthening our arms and stretching the backs of our legs. And because we're upside down, we get lots of lovely fresh oxygen to our minds. So it's very good when we're feeling a bit tired. Let's try wagging our tail on the other side now. Stretching our other leg up and giving it a wag. Waggle, waggle, wag. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Dog pose. <laughs> ah. 
That was great. Well done, you. Now, let's get the volume turned up, get ready to sing, to dance, and enjoy ourselves in the yoga disco. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, dancing, and lots of fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called hot air ballooning, where we do our hot air balloon move. Ready? Now it's time to stand up straight. We've got to go. We can't be late. We're moving. No snoozing. Today we go hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Hot, hot air ballooning. Roll your shoulders round and round. Lift them up. Put them down, lift up one, lift up two, put down one, put down two, going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hot air ballooning, hot air ballooning, hot air ballooning, hot, hot air ballooning. Let's hop and jump in, then we wave and start to sing. Now cross your legs and sit down. Cup your hands around your mouth and blow it up, good and big. We're soaring through the sky, rock a rock a rock a bye. We're moving, no snoozing. Today we go hot air ballooning. 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 Now it's time to land on the ground, back to earth, safe and sound. Tuck up small like a mouse. We made it back to our house. Hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. Brilliant. Well done, you. Now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga.
binoculars. Four. 